everybody. Happy Wednesday and happy Earth Day. And look, I'm wearing my blue and my green, just like I hope you guys are. Don't forget to send us your pictures so that we can post them on Facebook and Instagram and for our end of the year DVD. Anyway, I thought it would be fun if I read you guys another Earth Day book. And this one is called Earth Day Puppy by Norman Bridwell. One sunny spring day, Emily Elizabeth and her little puppy Clifford liked to visit the park. After a long winter, it was so great to be outside. See, there's Emily Elizabeth and her dad, and there's Clifford. Clifford loved to smell the new grass, and he loved to see the colorful flowers. Look at all the pretty flowers. There's purple and pink and orange and blue. He loved to feel the warm sun and the cold water. See, he's jumping into the pond. Look, said Mr. Howard, what does that sign say? It says Earth Day celebration, Emily Elizabeth said out loud. That looks like fun. Hmm, I wonder what those children are doing. It looks like they have sticks and bags. I wonder what's in there. <gasps> Clifford looked around and he saw two boys cleaning up the litter. That's what they're doing. They're using rakes and these sticks and they're stabbing the garbage and they're putting it in either a garbage pail or recycling can like we talked about yesterday. Two little girls and their mom were planting baby trees and some other people were setting up recycling bins. Hello there, said the park ranger. Would you like to help clean up the park? Sure, said Emily Elizabeth, helping the earth is important. All the animals who live here deserve a clean home. That's a nice thought. Clifford wanted to help clean up the park too. After all, some of the animals were his friends too. Look, he's trying to clean up the juice box. See how small he still is here? And look how big the juice box looks like compared to him. But picking up litter was hard for the very little puppy. Silly puppy, you're too small for that, said Emily Elizabeth. Then what can I do, Clifford wondered. In school, we learned about more ways to help the earth, Emily Elizabeth told her dad. Even turning off the light switch whenever we leave the room can help, right? By reducing the power and water we use, there is more for everyone to share, said Mr. Howard. I can't reach the light switch, thought Clifford. Isn't there anything that I can do? Clifford really wants to help. He's trying to figure out how he can. That evening, Nina stopped by with her mom and Jorge. We were doing some spring cleaning today and I found Jorge's puppy toys, said Nina's mom. That big box full of toys. He's too big for them now. I thought maybe Clifford would like them. Great idea, said Emily Elizabeth. See, Nina is doing one of the three R's. Reuse and recycle, right? We talked about them yesterday. Reusing old stuff is another way to help the earth, said Emily Elizabeth. These toys are just not as fun as brand new ones. Sure they are, said Clifford. They look like so much fun to me. I hope you have a lot of fun with these toys, Clifford, said Jorge. Thanks a lot, said Clifford. Clifford was so happy that he could help the earth. All he had to do was play with old someone else's old toys. This was a great Earth Day, Emily Elizabeth told her parents after dinner. Every kid can help the Earth if they try. And every puppy too, thought Clifford. The end. Now, does anybody remember in the story 
the important things that were going on? I do. Emily Elizabeth and her dad took Clifford out for a walk to the park and they saw people cleaning up the litter that was on the floor and they put them into recycle bins. There's one for paper, cans, and plastics, right? So that's a way that we can help save our earth. And the other thing that happened in the story was Nina and her mom brought Clifford over some old toys of Jorge's. So instead of throwing them out, they were reusing them by giving them to Clifford. And Clifford thought they were just as much fun. So maybe today, since it's Earth Day, you guys could go outside and if there's any litter that maybe blew across your lawn, you can ask mommy and daddy to help you pick it up and put it in the garbage pails. Or maybe if you're sitting inside, you might wanna go through some of your old toys or your old clothes and you can give them away. At least package them up to give them away on another day. Have a great day, guys. Today's Wednesday. Friday, remember, is not only our Zoom call at 11 o'clock, but we also have a great puppet show planned for 5 o'clock. And later today, I'm going to post um, a really cool project for Earth Day. So make sure to check it out later, okay? But for now, talk about the story with your moms and dads. Keep smiling and have a great day. Love you. Don't forget to send your pictures to me. Have a great Earth Day. Bye.